I'm going to show you how to use the Texture Reprojection tool. Using this tool, you can reproject a texture from a textured model onto another model within the same component. It is mainly useful for creating textures for simplified versions of the model in a significantly shorter amount of time than texturing from scratch. We can also use the tool to create normal and displacement maps. When the target model is a simplified version of a more detailed model, these maps can fake the fine details from the surface of the original model. My original model in this project is 39 million triangles. It has a texture count of four 8K textures. The model I'm going to reproject the texture onto has just 30,000 triangles. Firstly, I'm going to unwrap the simplified model. This way, I will end up with the exact texture resolution I want after reprojection. I will select the simplified model and go to the Mesh Model tab and click on Unwrap. I will choose the Maximal Texture Count style, 8K as the maximal texture resolution, and 2 as the maximal texture count. This will give me two 8K textures. The Texture Reprojection tool can be found in Tools under the Scene 3D tab, and you can find it in the Mesh Model section. After clicking on it, you will see the Reproject Model Texture panel in the 1DS section. I will now run you through all of the different settings. The first two are Source Model and Result Model. The Source Model should be your highest detail model, and if you're planning on reprojecting the color texture, your Source Model should ideally have a higher resolution unwrap than the one on your Result Model. The result model will be the simplified version of the model, so in this case the 30,000 triangle model. In my case it is very straightforward because I only have two models, but if you have multiple models in a component, here you can specify which ones to use. The following setting is reprojection distance. There are two options, automatic and custom. Sometimes the automatic setting will not project far enough and you might get some untextured patches on your result model. If this happens, you can set it to custom and manually increase the reprojection distance so that it covers these patches. Below, we have super sampling and the default setting is automatic. You can manually set how many samples should be per texel. With more samples per texel, you will get a better quality texture, but it will take longer to process. Here we have color reprojection and the default setting is for it to be enabled, meaning that the color texture will be reprojected. Sometimes you might only want a normal or displacement map, and in such cases, you can disable the color reprojection. Color reprojection has this dropdown, where you can change which texture layer is being reprojected. I only have one texture layer on my source model, so there's no other layer option for me. Also, you can change the sampling method for reprojection. The default setting is automatic, which normally uses the trilinear method. Trilinear will help get rid of any jaggies in your texture. The other option is nearest, which although not as smooth as trilinear, can be faster and look sharper. The final two options are for displacement and normal maps. I'm going to enable both of these. And now, all there is left to do is click the reproject button. Here is the result. There are two ways you can take a look at your normal and displacement maps. You can make a 2D view and drag and drop the textures onto it, or you can click the eye icon next to the textures to see them on the model. The red and blue colors you can see on the displacement map are just Reality Capture's representation of the values. The actual displacement map has no color information, only positive and negative values for height above and below the surface blue parts being the bits where the original model's surface was above the surface of the result model and red below. Remember that texture reprojection can significantly save the time by creating textures for simplified versions of your already textured model, and it can generate normal and displacement maps that can fake the surface detail in third-party rendering software. Also, if you've done any work on your model in third-party software and have brought it back into Reality Capture for texturing, reprojection will most likely be your best option not only for speed but for a sharper texture.